second video I'm going to do just kind of show you uh, shows you how we uh, put together some financial reports here at Redefine Horizons kind of help us keep an eye on the financial health of our business and yeah that's just not stuff all surveyors get taught where they work so uh, I wanted to, to put some videos together that, that show guys how to do this and gals how to do this um, something I've, I've learned the hard way <laughs> so uh, I wanted to share these videos with you guys so if you're ever if you ever start your own business or if you're running somebody else's business, you'll you'll have an idea what some of these reports are like and what they do. So in the other video I showed you, we, we put together some monthly uh, what we call money management report. And they're just kind of giving you an idea of the money you got going in and out of your bank account. Um, so, you know, your assets, your expenses and kind of if you're in the black or red for the month. And um, as I explained in the other video, um, you know, th this can get a little lumpy. You try not to let it get lumpy. Uh, you, you want your um, your payments received to be roughly uh, equal or more than your expenses. But sometimes it gets a little lumpy. So you can see uh, we had kind of a, a lopsided month in June. We, we spent a lot more money than we brought in. But then in April, we, we brought in a lot more money than we spent. And uh, so, you know, we, we do our best. We try to manage this good, good cash flow management Um makes makes this number a lot more <laughs> equal to this number but it's a big challenge especially for small businesses and and you know we're trying to get better at it and so uh what i wanted to show you uh was we also do a quarterly profit and loss statement our, our accountant has helped us put that together and so we we look at stuff on a quarterly basis as well as monthly and what that does is it smooths out some of the ups and downs you get with the with the monthly reports so uh, we're going to go ahead and it's just july 4th today we're going to go ahead and put together our second quarter profit and loss statement and this again this is kind of a tool to help you see how financially healthy the business is and and if you're you know if you're profitable or not and so we're going to go ahead and do that so right up here we have in our income section and we really only have one kind of income professional services we've got another placeholder in here I don't know that we'd ever have other kinds of income, but um, I don't know. Maybe we would. Maybe I sell a kid or something. Sell a party chief I don't like into indentured servitude or something. <laughs> but so uh, what we want to do here is we want to go ahead and figure out what did we invoice in professional services. I'm sorry, not not what we invoice, but we got what we got paid. So if we come in here, we can see we got paid fifty two three forty seven fifty in April. Uh, in May. Oh, that's a typo. Sorry. Let's see. In June, we invoiced, or we got paid for five. In April, we got paid for $52,347.50. And then uh, May is a typo, so let me go fix that. And let me jump, let me pause the video. We'll fix that, and I'll jump back in. All right, guys. Sorry about that. So it was actually April that was goofed up. So uh, we got $5,500 in April, not 52000 So... Uh, that changes this a little bit. So uh, what we want to look at, we're not we're going to ignore these two top rows here because um, we don't want to look at our bank account balance and we don't want to look at what we've invoiced because that'll show up as future income. Uh, what we want to look at is what what do we get in income here? That's payment received. Okay, so in April we got fifty five hundred bucks. So we're just going to add these up. So we're going to say fifty five hundred we got in April. In May we got fifty two three forty seven fifty. So plus 52, 347.50. And then in June, we got five grand. So plus 5,000. Okay, so our total income was 62,847.50. So we're going to post that in there. Whoop. Okay, then we want to come over and look at our expenses. Okay, and uh, I'm going to pull this on the other screen so I can see it, but what we're looking at is just right here. We're totaling up our expenses. Okay, so we've got uh, office supplies and software. So I'm going to make this a formula. We've got 950 in, uh, let's start in April. So we got 950, 950, 950. So all three months there, we got 950. Uh, 
Okay, uh, this is our consultant services here. So we had uh, 1100, 1100, 1100. Okay, so we didn't really have any oddballs there. Okay, and this this is actually yeah we don't I mean, we're not going to have contractors so let's get rid of that. All right, so we did uh, software consultant services. Insurance is basically the same every month. It's uh, about six hundred and fifty dollars. Okay. Then uh, now these these numbers um, these numbers are the ones that uh, the rents the same every month. It's actually fifteen hundred, and um, salaries and wages and payroll taxes are the numbers that fluctuate a bunch. Okay. So let's look at our payroll taxes. So we're going to put that down here, and I'm actually going to condense this because I don't have it broke out. So we're just going to put it in here. So we've got, um, in let's see, in April we had, and you'll see this going up because we've been getting busier and adding people, adding hours and people. So we got, um, in April it was 11, 529.31. In May it was... know what it was in May because I've got a typo and then in June it went way up so it was 23 248.03 plus 3252.78 okay so let's go figure out what it was in May sorry about that guys all right guys sorry about that so Let's go back in and figure out the salary and wages. So this month that we were missing was actually 14,970.48. Okay, and then bank charges and fees, it was high the last quarter because we had some credit card payments that went through from clients and, and we didn't realize how hard we were gonna get hit with those fees. So the, uh, the actual fees were a lot lower. So uh, they were about, uh, fifty dollars okay so this this is our second quarter so what this is telling you is uh, yep we spent a little more money than we made in the second quarter and so we're we had a loss of two hundred dollars okay and that makes sense because if you uh, know what happened in the spring of 2021 you'll remember we got completely hammered in March and April <laughs> because of the COVID-19 lockdown. So I'm actually surprised we did this good. Um, you know, thankfully we started getting busier in the end of May and June and uh, we were able to make make up a little bit of the hole that we were in. Um, so we did okay. So that's our, our quarter. So let's go ahead and save a copy. So, you know, we were about break even. Uh, we were about break even for uh, the second quarter. Let's fix that header real quick. Sorry. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to remember how to do that here. I think it's under page setup. Uh, uh, we're just going to make this say second quarter. Okay, so we basically had a break-even second quarter um, after, let's see, what how we do in the first quarter? I think we made a little money in the first quarter. Let's go look. So first quarter. Yep, so first quarter we made 26. So we were, uh, we 
were headed in for a, a, a good second quarter when COVID-19 hit. So we went from a $26,000 profit basically to break even. Uh, but I can tell we're going to have a much, uh, much stronger third quarter. It already feels a lot better. Um, in fact, I think we're going to double that profit from the first quarter. So we're hoping we have about a $50,000 profit for the third quarter. So not bad for just a, just a couple guys, a few people. Um, anyways, so that's how you basically use these monthly management reports and roll that up into a quarterly profit and loss statement, uh, which is here. And that kind of smooths out some of the, the bumps that you get in your monthly uh, your monthly money, money management reports just because uh, sometimes your cash flow or your billing gets a little lumpy. Um, so we had a fairly good first quarter. Uh, we got a little hammered in the second quarter because of COVID. Uh, we're hoping that we have a good third quarter depending on what happens with the virus. But you can see how these uh, reports give you a basic idea of how your company's doing financially. So, all right, guys, we're a little over 10 minutes. Uh, hope, hopefully these videos are helping you. I, I want to try and teach uh land surveyors and real estate folks some of the things that I had to learn the hard way about business. So I hope you guys are enjoying these videos and feel free to comment below. Let me know if there's other top business topics you want me to cover from a surveyor perspective uh, or if there's other things you'd like to hear about in these videos. Thanks for watching guys. Appreciate it.